Hello, this is Austin Roney, Mr. Roney, a third grade teacher at the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. When I grow up, I want to be a tree, want to make my home with the birds and the bees and the squirrels. They can count on me when I grow up to be a tree. Hey, third grade, happy Friday. Those are my housemates in there uh, singing because they're happy it's Friday. Um, I know we said we were going to do social studies today, but it just occurred to me that it's the 10th day of our pea plant experiment, so now it's time for us to finish it up. So the first thing we're going to start off with is a review of what our experiment was. So let's get started. So let's remember back 10 days ago and try to think of what our hypothesis was and what our experiment was. Remember, hypothesis is just our prediction about what we thought was going to happen. And to backtrack a little bit, the question we were asking was, does singing to plants make them grow faster than if you don't sing to them? And we thought plants that you sang to were going to grow faster than ones that you don't. So our setup was pretty easy. We split the plants into two groups. One group got to hear me sing every day, and the other group we stuffed in a closet, a quiet closet, while I was singing so they couldn't hear me. Then we controlled for everything we could think of. So if you remember, a control is something that stays the same between all of the plants when we're doing an experiment. And this question is going to be on your quiz. So control is things we stay the same. One of the things we decided to keep the same was the amount of sunlight that these plants got. So we put them in the front of the same window and then we also water them the same amount every day. So by doing that we controlled or kept the same amount of sun and water in our experiment. So the first step to finishing our experiment is to collect results. Another word for results is to collect data. Data is basically just information about our plants. So the type of data that I think is best to figure out what our result is, is to measure the plants and see if the ones that I sang to are actually taller than the ones that I didn't sing to. So I'm going to get measured. So now that I have my trusty measuring tape, I have to decide whether I want to measure in inches or centimeters. And I have to measure all of these things the same way. So since centimeters are smaller, I think I can be a little bit more exact when I measure them in centimeters. So that's what I'm going to use. Also, I have to measure all of these the same way. So what I'm going to do is measure each plant all the way from the dirt to the highest point that I can find. So this is probably going to take me a while. Hang in tight and I'll be back when I've measured them all. Before I give you the results, let me talk about averages with you because that's what I'm going to calculate for each of these groups. I know we haven't done much with averages in class, but let me tell you a simple explanation. Average basically means the plants in the middle of the group. So if we think about average in terms of grade point average, you might have some grades that are really, really high, and then you might have some grades that are really, really low. What an average does is tells us most of the time what kind of scores you get. So I know that might not be completely clear, but I thought I had to try to explain it. So when you think average, just think the plants in the middle, or what most of the plants in the group would be. Whew, that was tiring. But I had to be exactly sure how tall each of these are. So I had to measure them all. So now for the results. <clears throat> So, for the plants that I sang to, the average height was 5 
centimeters. I also had two that didn't grow, so that brought down my average. For the plants that I didn't sing to, our average was seven centimeters. So guess what? The plants that I didn't sing to actually grew faster than the ones that I did. So, with those results, does that mean that singing to plants really doesn't make them grow faster? Well, let's do a little thinking with our brains to figure out what potential problems we might have had in our experiment, or what could have gone wrong. And how we do that is we look for things that might be different between the two groups that we didn't think of. So, do you see any differences by looking at these plants between the groups? Besides the height, I do see one more difference. I put them in different kinds of containers. So, it's possible that plants just like this kind of container a little bit better than they like this kind. And that's why the plants that I didn't sing to grew faster. I'm not sure about that, but that could be an issue with our experiment. I don't think we should completely give up hope that singing to your plants makes them grow faster, but this experiment tells us that we should be a little bit careful when making those predictions next time, because we're probably not right. And that's what science is all about. We want to be skeptical. The word skeptical means you don't want to believe things just after hearing someone tell you. You want to be very careful before you make an opinion, and you want people to prove it to you with actual evidence or information before you make a decision. So, let's get to our conclusion. All this being said, our conclusion about our hypothesis was that singing to plants doesn't really seem to make them grow faster. And that's what our experiment told us. You can try your own experiment at home and see if you get different results. And then we can